It's Pride Month! Obviously, we're gonna be watching gay movies this month. And today, we're gonna be starting with the L in LGBTQ+. The L stands for lesbian. Fun fact, did you know the acronym starts with lesbian? Because during the AIDS crisis, lesbian nurses were some of the only people willing to care for AIDS patients. Or I think that's what they said. Something to that effect. And that's why lesbian comes first. So in that same spirit today, we started with Bottoms. A 2023 comedy so camp, I am convinced it came out of Barbie land post Ken Surrection. So let's get into it. Okay, so we have PJ and Josie. It's their senior year in high school. They decide to go to the Welcome Back to School Carnival so that they can mack on their crushes. But they are like major losery in school. And really nobody wants to be their friend. But anyways, they're getting ready to leave the carnival. And Josie's crush is fighting with her boyfriend who is the captain of the football team. And on a whim, they offer her a ride to get away from her dumb boyfriend. And her dumb boyfriend is standing in front of their car and is accidentally tapped with the bumper. I mean, I don't even think he needed, like, a band-aid. But, you know, he had to really milk that shit, so he had to have, like, crutches. And then they were gonna get suspended in school, and in order to save their asses, they had to be like, oh, it was a misunderstanding. We're starting a woman's self-defense club, slash fight club. And that's how all of this starts, because a bunch of girls got together and they decided they wanted to join the fight club slash self-defense club, where they're just beating the shit out of each other and talking through their feelings. But also, PJ and Josie kind of just started this so that they could have sex with girls. And then the football team found out and felt like they weren't getting enough attention, so they brought down one of the girls to get the shit beat out of her by one of the football players. Who they've been keeping in a cage this whole movie. Literally, the cage was in the back corner of the room. Like, in the classroom, and then in the gymnasium. But yes, they let this big-ass football player beat up a girl. Anyway. And then everything comes out, and they're kind of loser again. Everybody's mad at them for lying. But then it comes out the big football game that's their rival league game. Um, Apparently, the team kills someone every year, and they're trying to stop it because they're trying to kill the quarterback with pineapple juice because he's allergic to pineapples. And basically, in order to stop it from happening, all the girls have to run on the field and beat the shit out of the football team. Literally, they killed them. Killed dead. And then Josie gets her girl. The end. Now, did I like it? This was the most chaotic thing I've ever seen, and it was great. This was a level of camp the Mean Girls musical should have been and was not. I mean, we got a kid locked in a cage in a classroom. We got a teacher with a subscription for post-divorce porn. They're killing people. It's funny. It's got a good amount of violence. It's like a whole fever dream, and it's great. Also, it's only like 90 minutes. Like, it's not too long either. It's a 10 out of 10 for me. So happy first day of Pride, lesbian community. It's a 10 out of 10. Okay, bye. Come on, baby, to my window. I'll be home soon.